Well, that's just... Beast Wars Transformers is a show where King Kong and a bunch of furries go back in time to a prehistoric Earth and fight against the evil forces of Barney the Dinosaur. I didn't grow up with Beast Wars personally, instead its sequel, which was... Well... Yeah. In fact, I only watched Wars about two years ago, which I know is blasphemy for a Transformers fan, and I loved it. Though the humour could get a bit childish at times, there were some surprisingly sombre moments in Beast Wars. Though there were plenty of blatant, well, we're introducing new characters, better kill off the toys that don't matter. <laughs> a lot of characters were given a proper send-off, especially Dinobot, whose death was so tragic that it made you appreciate how human they made these robots feel. Beast Wars takes the concept of animals turning into giant robots, an idea pretty cool on its own, and ramps it up to 100. Beast Wars had a fantastic premise and plenty of exciting stories to boot. And also some... not exciting stories. Need I remind everyone, there was an episode where Rhinox farts! That's the entire thing, I'm not kidding! For once, the characters in either faction were interesting and complex, with the Maximals being lovable enough to cheer on in their battles, and the Predacons being so amazing that you wish there was more gay fanfiction of them. All of the characters are lovable in their own way, especially Waspinator, who, little known fact, is actually Primus himself reincarnated as the greatest character in anything ever. Optimus Primal was a worthy successor to the original, though very different in his leadership methods. Listen, hardhead. Cheetor is gone, and I think you know something. So you will talk, or I will rip out your core processor and extract the information personally! Cheetor was a pretty good Kid Appeal character, and he undergoes pretty impressive character development throughout the series. Rhinox was... Rattrap was hilarious and perfectly casted. Silverbolt was... Depth Charge was... And Tigertron and Air Razor were... Nah. Each character had a distinct personality with their own little quirks, and they came out as insanely memorable for it. As I've said before, Beast Wars is one of the only shows where I prefer the bad guys over the good guys, but not because the good guys suck. It's just that the Predacons are so incredibly charismatic and lovable that you can't help but root for them at the same time. The Predacons are led by Megatron, but not that Megatron, don't get confused. He's a different Megatron, named after the Megatron that named himself after Megatronus. Simple, right? And each of Megatron's troops were fantastic, a particular favourite character of mine being Dinobot, who would defect to the Maximals early on in the series. I just found it hilarious how essentially all of Megatron's troops were plotting against him at some point. Except Inferno. Hashtag justice for Inferno. Though it doesn't seem like it at first, Beast Wars is a Transformers show through and through, with plentiful amounts of references to things in the past, such as an episode where the ghost of Starscream shows up. How insanely awesome is that? But most importantly, it takes a wildly different idea and makes it work fantastically well. Getting to explore the prehistoric Earth and the freakish ways the alien Vok had affected it was super interesting. Though it had an impressive 52 episode run, not a single episode is boring. Except maybe the farting one. And just listen to that theme song! There are a few bits of wasted potential here and there, such as the completely wasted characters of Tiger Hawk and Dinobot 2, what was even the point? But overall, the show handled the need for advertising very well. With much of the episode plots going from dumb one-off episodes to fantastically told epics, with my particular favourites being when the Maximals and Predacons discover the Ark on Earth. Getting to see all of the dormant Autobots and Decepticons blew my goddamn mind. And seeing the attention to detail with the size difference was fantastic. Though it could sometimes Sometimes get distracted from the main plot. We get it, just get a room already. Beast Wars made sure to differentiate between seriousness and humor. I won't say that the humor in the show is spectacular, <laughs> but it did successfully prevent the show from being overly serious, like other shows. And look, I think we all know I'm a sucker for unnecessary violence in kids' shows, and Beast Wars goddamn nails it. Some of the character deaths in the show are brutal, and should I leave a spoiler? No, the show's like a hundred years old. Tarantulas' body exploding violently, or Tiger Hawk being completely obliterated by the Nemesis' cannon. Holy crap. Beast Wars is incredibly effective in its advertising, and no show has ever made me want to buy the toys more. But... Uh, the voice acting is fantastic, the characters are amazing, and though many may disagree with me, I think the animation holds up pretty well. Eh, uh, but the animation is old and it looks bad- Shut up, it's not that- It's prime. Let's do it. Okay, maybe it's a little dated. For many, Beast Wars is the perfect example of something that looked way better as a kid. But from a storytelling perspective, Beast Wars is remarkable, and in my opinion tells some of the best stories in the whole franchise. It's certainly not the best thing in the world, and has been far surpassed with cartoons since its release, but Beast Wars is as revered as it is for a reason. And I base all my personal judgments about it on how it holds up today, not how amazing it must have been when it first came out. Because I still think it holds up exceptionally well, what with the fantastic plot and character development. Development. Basically, if you like Transformers Prime, I would definitely recommend Beast Wars. It's pretty much the same show, if Prime's animation looked like PS1 FMV graphics with a little bit more humour thrown in there. Rabideki.
You're the one. Rubber ducky. I absolutely cannot even begin to fathom the fact that Beast Wars is over 20 years old because it holds up so well. It was a marvel for its time and is still a marvel today. Look, basically the video should be a cherish forever, but it's not because I remember the Transmutate episode, which is horrifying. Like seriously, this is a kid show, what the hell? For a show as old as it is, Beast Wars is absolutely fantastic and is definitely worth checking out, even today. I can't imagine how amazing it would have been back in 1996 when it first aired, but I can certainly say it's in my top 5 favourite Transformers shows. Beast Wars definitely gets my first 0 out of 5, they killed off Depth Charge, what the hell?